Paul Wren was born in the Bronx in 1946. His father was a law school graduate, and his mother was a grade school teacher. His older brother Greg, a naval officer, inspired Paul to follow in his footsteps. Paul attended Marist College in New York, where he developed his academic and athletic skills. After graduation, Paul received his commission in 1968 through the Navy's Reserve Officer Candidate Program and first served as an ensign on the USS Sarsfield. There, he diligently worked his way up the ladder and ahead of his peers to the rank of Lieutenant and Operations Department Head in just 20 months. In the early 1970s, Lieutenant Wren was assigned as military training and counterinsurgency advisor for operations along the Mekong River between Thailand, Cambodia, and Laos, where he was involved in combat operations over two years. Following his Southeast Asia tour of duty, Paul Wren served as weapons officer on USS Blakely, and after promoting to Lieutenant Commander as Operations and Tactics Officer, 1st Canadian Destroyer Squadron. After graduating with distinction from the Naval War College at Newport, Rhode Island, and earning his master's in business administration, Lieutenant Commander Wren became executive officer of USS Bowen and then chief staff officer of Destroyer Squadron 36. As a result, he was promoted early to commander in 1983 and was designated to command the guided missile frigate USS Samuel B. Roberts under construction at Bath Ironworks and was involved with her completion until commissioning in April 1986. Deployed to the Middle East in 1988, while working as an escort for U.S. flagged oil tankers in the Persian Gulf during the Iran-Iraq War, Samuel B. Roberts struck an underwater naval mine, blasting a 30-foot hole in the hull, flooding the engine rooms, destroying the ship's gas turbine engines, and sending flames 100 feet above the ship. The blast broke the keel of the ship and severed the hull in half, leaving just the main deck holding it together. But under the leadership of Commander Wren, the crew warned off hostile warships and aircraft, fought fire and flooding for five hours, and eventually exited the minefield on its own auxiliary power, saving Roberts from sinking with no loss of life. For his actions and leadership during the crisis, Paul Wren received a call from the President of the United States and the Legion of Merit with Combat V. The actions of Commander Wren and his crew are now required reading at the U.S. Naval Academy, Naval War College, and Surface Warfare Officers School. Following his tour on Samuel B. Roberts, Commander Wren headed the Navy's Combat Readiness and Ship Survivability Office at Navy Headquarters in the Pentagon, and later, after being promoted to captain, served as Executive Assistant to the head of the Surface Navy. In 1994, Captain Wren commanded the Aegis Cruiser USS Leyte Golf. During his command, he again deployed to the Persian Gulf and was the at-sea commander of United Nations oil embargo operations against Iraq. After the successful deployment, Lady Golf was awarded the prestigious designation as top Aegis cruiser in the Atlantic Fleet, and Captain Wren was awarded the John Paul Jones Inspirational Leadership Award by the United States Navy League. Following his tours at sea, Paul Wren served in the Pentagon as special assistant to two successive chiefs of naval operations. In 1998, Captain Paul Wren retired from the United States Navy with five Legion of Merit Awards, the Purple Heart, four Meritorious Service Awards, Combat Action Ribbon with Bronze Star, and other personal and unit commendations. In 2008, Paul Wren was honored by being inducted into the Surface Navy Hall of Fame. After retiring from the Navy, Paul joined the international consulting firm of Whitney, Bradley & Brown. He advanced steadily through the company ranks and was an integral part of the company's growth from a $5 million organization to a $95 million company in 10 years. In 2001, he was promoted to vice president and placed in charge of international and domestic naval business development, tripling that business by 2004. In 2005, he took over leadership of the company's largest sector, management consulting, doubling both the sector's productivity and profit margins over the next four years. In 2010, Paul Wren became the head of all commercial business development, again doubling WBB's market share while maintaining a profit margin of over 20%. He departed on December 31, 2011 to pursue his third career as a book author and public speaker. Throughout his career, Paul Wren has believed in himself and trusted in his people. He has always demonstrated that if you invest in your people and lead them well, 
they will invest in themselves and perform brilliantly, well above the level they thought they could achieve, and in doing so, be the key to every organization's success. If you want an experienced leader with an unforgettable message for your leaders at every level, you'll want to invite Paul X. Rin to keynote for your next conference.